Good morning. Day after game day today. I'm feeling super good this morning. Um, body feels great. I'm ready for another. I know my team is too. Got some good rest, watched some good football last night. And uh, we are ready in, uh, to embark on another day and bring it, have some fun. So, gonna make some good breakfast, have my athletic greens, and here we go. We've gotten a couple of questions from you guys about the tournament that we are currently playing in. This is the first international tournament that we've been able to do in three years as a club team. So this is really big time for us because this is putting us on the map and you get invited to different tournaments around the world based off of how you do at these tournaments. Um, we're also preparing for a tournament in El Salvador next week, which give us international points as a club. And now it gets us in the ranking system. So every tournament counts, all are super important. It also helps these, our players get exposed to be able to play in other international tournaments with other teams in Europe in the summer, which is big time for our professional career and potential getting paid to play. Good. So this is Lou. She is my teammate. Hey she originates from Canada and she plays with our club team. Um, we have known each other for four years now and we connected through Beach. Like this whole team, how when it started, well, a little bit when it started. And now we are here and we're going to ask Lou a couple questions about how she kind of got to the beach. So, when was the first time that you started playing beach or were introduced to the sport? First time I was introduced to the sport was in 2018. Um, I was playing futsal at the time and I met two of my teammates, so Janae and Louisa, and they had been um, asking me to try beach soccer. I had no idea what that was, I never heard about it before. And finally, they convinced me to try it in the sand. And surprisingly, I had some decent pace. Um, I was able, I had some good balance. And then they, they asked me if I wanted to continue. And I wasn't really sure. And I had to move back to Canada. And uh, they gave me a call. And they're like, look, there's a tournament in six months. It's in Turkey. Do you want to come? No, you don't know this about me yet, but I absolutely love traveling. So when you're pairing soccer with travel, I was all in. So that was my introduction. It's a thing we're self funded. We c come on these trips and we. We have to save up and to get here because it's a passion and we love it. So we do what we have to do to do that. So what do you do to allow yourself to be able to come on these trips? Yeah, so first and foremost, uh, I'm a head soccer coach. I'm a technical director also at Livermore Fusion. And thankfully my job allows me to do both. So right now my girls are in high school. There's a little bit of downtime, so this tournament is perfect. So that's one of the main things I do as my priority job. Additionally to that, there's a lot of side hustles. She's when you're <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Listen, when you're in the world of beach soccer, or, or women's sports to be honest, you have to do other things to help supplement. And this is where we're at, especially being a self-funded women's team. There's got to be more. So for me, um, I do a lot of individual sessions. Um, I am a speaker, so I do some speaking gigs. I'm a published author, so some of the speaking gigs come as a result of that. I have I'll put her book in the link below. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I have a juggling program as well that I sell online, so that allows me to be able to coach players outside of my club mm -hmm. um, and be at more places at once and be able to help multiple kids as once. Once we uncovered what the sport really looked like, we knew that, that people would be interested in it. So it's all a matter of like supporting each other and the community of beach soccer is super supportive and I knew that people from the outside, once they got in, would help us support. So I got in contact with um, a gentleman by, by the name of Oscar. He runs this company called Bottle Noses and he was all on board, it's all female. He wants to do all female camps and things like that and to grow the sport. He's originally from Peru, so for him, soccer was kind of like his saving grace. So by founding his organization, he also wanted to donate to us to help us 
uh, get what our project off the ground. So he was able to sponsor us. If you're looking at the back of our jersey, you'll see bottle noses. So that's one of the main sponsors. And then through connection from another teammate, we have uh, Be A Lot, right? So which stands for Believe, Love and Respect. Yep, that brand right there. Um, our sponsor's name is Lee, Lee Keith, and he has been super supportive. I felt like what his brand stands for absolutely coincides with who we are and it makes me so proud to represent a brand that stands for believe love and respect because what we do in the sport you have to believe in ourselves and to each other we love each other we're a family like all these girls we are you know they're my right 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 or die you know yeah what I mean? <laughs> and then respect first and foremost and third the third one but it is absolutely imperative for us to, one, respect each other, two, when we're traveling, respecting the culture, respecting the community, uh, and respecting the sport, right? And I think that with these three elements, we can do anything to raise money for a club to help sustain what we're doing here in these tournaments. Um, 3v3 tournaments are a big one for us, so introducing the sport to the youth in the 3v3 setting. So we're able to provide them with jerseys from BLR so that way they get to represent something that we're wearing as well because as we know, representation matters, um, especially for these young females. Um, males as well, but especially on females because they've been, we know. <laughs> and then also uh, clinics. So we do clinics as well to kind of introduce the sport again, see what the technique looks like. And then once people and kids get in the sport, they fall in love with it. Mm -hmm and the music, the vibe, the everything, right? So how can we continue growing that because it provides different opportunities. We think often that 11 v 11 or 11 aside or grass soccer, which we call now, is the end all be all. Well, there's different facets of the sport, futsal being one of them and beach soccer being one of them. Game two, shut out. 9-0? 9-0? 9-0. Like like <laughs> we kicked some butt. Our movement was amazing. We played as a team. Awesome. Look at that sand on the face. On to the next. So these things that we have done mm -hmm. to fund us, they've, they only cover a portion of what we are actually able to fund. So right now we have built up and we're super proud of it to be able to fund our food yep. and our accommodations. So right. our hotel, a hotel or Airbnbs that we have and some of our transportation as well. But r right now we, aren't, we pay for our own travel and which can get quite hefty of course and then also we don't get we don't pay ourselves by any means but we're so excited about how we've grown it has taken it's been such a collective effort